Have you ever wished you could go back in time to fix a mistake or maybe just to relive a perfect moment? What if I told you that time doesn't actually flow forward the way we think it does and that your future might already exist right now? It sounds like something out of science fiction, but physics actually supports this mind-bending idea. So today, let ES explore the true mystery of time and find out why we can at T seem to go back. We all feel time, we see ourselves age, we move from place to place, we collect memories. But here's a strange thought. No one has ever seen time itself. That ticking clock on your wall or the sun moving across the sky doesn't show you time. They just show change. In fact, that's how scientists define time. It's simply a way to measure change. Imagine a universe completely frozen, with nothing moving and nothing changing. In a place like that, time would have no meaning. It simply wouldn't exist. This brings us to one of the greatest minds in history, Albert Einstein, the man who completely turned our understanding of time on its head. Before Einstein, everyone, including scientists like Isaac Newton, thought time was absolute. They believed that one second on Earth was the same as one second on Mars or anywhere else in the universe, a constant universal clock ticking away. But Einstein came along and showed that time is relative. It actually depends on how fast you're moving and where you are in space. He came up with the revolutionary concept of space-time, a single four-dimensional fabric that weaves space and time together. And here's the crazy part. Massive objects, like planets and stars, bend this fabric. Your own movement bends it too. When you move very fast, that fabric of space-time stretches. And as a result, time itself slows down for you compared to someone standing still. This isn't just a wild theory, it's been proven. Decades ago, scientists conducted a brilliant experiment. They took two incredibly precise atomic clocks, synchronized them perfectly, and left one on the ground. The other was put on a high-speed airplane that flew around the world. When the plane landed, and they compared the clocks, the one that had been flying was slightly behind. It had recorded less time. Time literally moved slower for the clock on the plane. This effect is called time dilation, and it's a real-world consequence of Einstein's theory of relativity. So, this opens up a huge question. If time can be slowed down, why can't it go backward? Why can't we just reverse the flow and visit yesterday? The answer to that lies in a fundamental law of the universe called entropy. Entropy is essentially a measure of disorder or randomness. And one of the most unbreakable rules of nature is that the total entropy of the universe always increases. Everything naturally moves from a state of order to a state of disorder. Think about it. You can easily break a glass but you'll never see the shattered pieces spontaneously reassemble themselves into a perfect glass. You can mix milk into your coffee, but the milk will never unmix itself. Heat always flows from a hot object to a cold one, never the other way around. This constant one-way increase in disorder is what gives time its direction. Scientists call it the arrow of time. This arrow of time is also the reason we remember the past, but not the future. The very process of forming a memory in your brain is an irreversible chemical process that increases the overall entropy of the universe. If time were to somehow reverse, all those processes would also reverse, and our memories would be erased as they happen. We wouldn't even be aware that anything had changed. So, the reason we can to go back in time is not a limitation of our technology. It is built into the very fabric and laws of the universe itself. Now, hold on, because this is where things get really strange. Einstein himself believed something even more profound. He thought that the past, the present, and the future all exist simultaneously. In a letter to a friend, he famously wrote, The distinction between past, present, and future is only a stubbornly persistent illusion. Imagine time not as a flowing river, but as a giant fixed map. Every point on that map, the day you were born, this very moment as you watch this video, and even your distant future already exists. You just happen to be experiencing one location on that map at a time, like reading a book one page at a time. This idea is known as the block universe theory. In this model, the entire universe is a static four-dimensional block of space-time where everything that has happened and ever will happen is already laid out. We don't actually move through time. Our consciousness simply illuminates different slices of this block, creating the sensation of time passing. Many modern physicists find this concept incredibly useful because it helps explain why time feels like it's flowing even though the fundamental laws of physics don't require it to. So, does this mean we can ever travel through time? Theoretically, maybe. Einstein ES equations of relativity do allow for the possibility of space-time bending so much that it creates a tunnel connecting two different points. This is the famous wormhole. A wormhole could, in theory, link two different moments in time, creating a bridge to the past or future. But there's a huge catch. To keep a wormhole stable and open, we would need a hypothetical substance with exotic properties called negative energy, and so far, we have never discovered it or found a way to create it. 
Even if we could build a time machine, we'd run into a whole host of paradoxes. The most famous one is the grandfather paradox. If you travel back in time and prevent your grandparents from ever meeting, you would never have been born. But if you were never born, how could you have gone back in time to stop them in the first place? It's a contradiction that the universe doesn't seem to like. It seems the laws of logic and cause and effect are just as powerful as the laws of physics. So, while the math of physics doesn't completely forbid time travel, the universe's own rules about entropy, energy, and logic make it seem nearly impossible. For now, we can slow down time. We can stretch it, but we can't reverse it. When you put it all together, here's what we know. Time is our way of measuring change. Einstein proved it's flexible and relative, not absolute. The law of entropy gives time its irreversible forward direction. And according to the block universe theory, the past and future may already exist. We just can't get to them. So maybe when we ask, can we go back in time? We're asking the wrong question. Maybe we already exist in every moment of our lives, and we're just experiencing this one slice right now. Perhaps the universe isn't moving through time at all. Perhaps time is moving through us. So the next time you glance at a clock, remember, it's not just time that's passing. It's you, journeying through a grand, mysterious universe where every moment may already be written. Thank you so much for exploring this incredible topic with me today. If you enjoyed this journey into the mysteries of physics, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more deep dives into science. See you in the next one.